What's up everyone? It's Execution Double Nine again here with some more Skyrim with my Wood Elf Shadow Knight. Alright, so I've been checking out my last couple broadcasts and sounds like I've been breathing kind of heavy into the microphone. I'm okay, I'm just getting on the back end of a cold. So that's all that is. Um, so anyways, I've kind of finished the um, early part of the game and can now finally get to kind of playing at my own pace. I finished Bleak Fall Barrows, I finished the first uh, dragon and now I can kind of just go ahead and get into what it is that I kind of like to do at my own pace now and just kind of build my character up. Um, so as you can see from my title, my build is a Shadow Knight. So what is a Shadow Knight? Well, in uh, EverQuest, a Shadow Knight is basically a warrior necromancer. Um, a heavy armored tank that can summon skeletons and stuff. And that's essentially what I played in my first run through of Skyrim way back on the 360 days. Um, with this, I'm changing the concept up a little bit. It's still the same overall um, concept. I'm still doing a necromancer. I'm still raising zombies and and everything. Um, but I'm doing more of a light armored kind of a spell sword type guy um, so I'm a little bit sneaky I haven't been focusing too terribly much into sneak yet but I'm a little bit sneaky light armored uh, dabbling in a little bit of all different types of magic with emphasis on the raising of zombies um, and a couple other areas uh, so that's what I'm looking at I'm light armored dual wield um, and that's kind of the basis of my character. There's still a few other things that I'm working out as I kind of play along and just see how it goes. Um, that's Lydia, you see on my thumbnail screen there. I just got Lydia, um, so we're gonna be moving on from that. Uh, you see the M in front of all my load files because I am running different mods, um, and I am playing on master difficulty. So uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, again, for those who haven't watched my first couple videos, when it comes to time, like story time where I'm talking with NPCs and stuff, I usually get like to get immersed into the character and into the world and kind of live vicariously through my characters. So I won't be talking at those kinds of times. I'll be quiet during that so we can hear the story and what's going on and everything. Um, so there's my friend Lydia. Um, all right, it is two in the morning um, I just got the quest for the graybeards but uh, one of the mods that I'm using is a sleep mod so I need to get my ass to sleep now that's kind of a cool looking sword Now I'm a little bit sad about having light armor because I'm used to being a heavy armored kind of guy. That's heavy armored uh, tanks are a little more what I've been playing lately. Um, but I'm I'm in the uh, light armor uh, swing of things now with this character. Um, the backstory is his name is Martan and he is a descendant of uh, Lon, who was my character in Morrowind, so in my own canon, he's the descendant of the Nereverine. Of course, in my own canon, uh, my character from the 360 is my official Dovahkiin. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um... He was a slave, um, held a slave um, to a dark mage and escaped killing his master and escaping fleeing. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Uh. As some reason I still can't sit on that bench. The security in White One is terrible. Shameful is what wake up dear. Yes, Mum. You want a drink? Depends. <coughs> Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. 
see, what do I have? I think I actually have water, right? Yep, I just got some water. So I'll just get myself something to eat, some food. I'm going to have cooked beef and baked potatoes. Are you sure? Oh no. They found me? I need your help, please. Come with me. I need to speak to you privately. Quickly, come with me. The gods in this city are all lazy and undisciplined. Things need to change. You think you can take me? You so much as touch me and you're going to lose fingers. I mean it. I'll, I'll cut you in half. So the Alakir know where I am? What do they offer you? Gold? How many more of them are coming? Tell me. I'm sorry. Just, just don't hurt me. I know you're not one of them, but you just can't help them. You can't let them know I'm here. Please, will you help me? There's no one here I can trust. There will be. Of that, you can be assured. I am not the person that the people of White Run think I am. My real name is Eamon. I am a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. The men who are looking for me, the Alakir, they are assassins in the employ of the Almarie Dominion. They wish to exchange my blood for gold. I need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him, and the rest will scatter. I don't dare show my face, lest they recognize me, so you'll have to find out where they are. I heard <clears> one <throat> of them was just arrested trying to sneak into the city. If he's locked up in the jail, perhaps you can get it out of him. Please, I know I'm asking you to do something difficult, maybe even dangerous. I just don't know who else I can trust. You think I'd be in hiding if this was something I trusted town guards to handle? These men are ruthless, cunning, deceitful. They'll pay off whoever they can. I can't trust anyone here in Whiterun. Guards and Jarls can be bought. And the Alakir are close. I'm running out of time, so I'm choosing to trust you. I don't know for sure. I spoke out against the Aldmeri Dominion publicly. I suspect that's why these men were hired to hunt me down. Find me the moment the Alakir are taken care of. This is a local favorite and one of the first songs I ever learned. Ragnar the Red. Once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to Whiterun from Old Rorik's stead. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of selling the Inn to Isolda. Anyway, what do you need? But then he went quiet, did Ragnar. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and so then came crashing and slashing of steel as the brave lass Matilda charged in full of zeal. And the braggart named Ragnar was boastful no more when his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. Thank you. Let me know if there's anything else you need. No, but you can go ahead and leave.
I've got your back. This is an old Skyrim's skull adapters, the Imperials. We drink to our youth, to days come and gone, for the age of aggression. Ooh. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Interesting, to say the least. What with all that's been going on. On the one hand, supplies are harder to come by since fewer traders are traveling the roads these days. But on the other, the scarcity of supplies has led to some, well, elevated prices. All that matters is that I have what you need. And it's worth every septum. Isn't it obvious? Why the wonderful weather and hospitable people, of course. Not to mention my great fondness for dragons and petty political power struggles. Ah, but without a doubt, the most compelling feature of this frozen wasteland is the volley of inane questions leveled at me on a regular basis. Take a look. You're kind of a jerk. Do come back. Foolish old You felt nothing. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing. And what of my son? Hmm? What of Thorold? Is he nothing? So don't talk to me about suffering. 